conductor of classical music. I've trained to combine things of music and leadership. So this cross-fertilization of what a conductor and ensemble does together, then transfer that into leadership in general. And what I offer together with the chamber choir with, for the OSLP is a chance to learn how to conduct and by that open for a different conversation and dialogue about what leadership is at all. First of all, there is the relationship between followers and leader. It's becoming more and more important in any sort of leadership that you really understand who you're leading and that you build up this relationship not only intellectually but also with a very embodied and passionate part of your uh, deed as a leader and that you get people on board. I think one of the most important things with this exercise is that leadership is now unfolded in a very authorized followership and how can you reach out and ignite this. Another thing is how do you lead experts? How do you lead people knowing more about the stuff you have in common than you do yourself? And here in this exercise it's a little extreme because the singers in the workshop they know everything and the conductors know nothing. This will be daily life experience that you have to reach out and understand expertise, skill, people's contribution and take decisions on based on something you don't know very well yourself but trust expertise. The difference we often distinguish between management and leadership comes together in this exercise. You have to be precise, you have to take charge in a managerial way, but you also have to open up for this deeper conversation with yourself and your followers on what purpose are we reaching. The authority and authenticity in leadership shines through very, very clear in this exercise. A typical reaction when people walk out of this exercise is that they get x-rayed a bit deeper than they normally would be in this sort of sessions. We have trained ourselves, both me and the musicians that join me, to be very clear in our observations and messages about preferences, instincts, leadership take on things, whether you take charge or reluctant analy analytic in your mind and so on. All these different aspects of your leadership shines through in a way that you rarely feel. And in this sense, being diagnosed like that is often a very clear message we get when people walk out. This was clarifying, this was uh, opening up for a different conversation with myself because I now get a very clear picture of, of who I am and how I ignite my own passion. Mm -hmm.